Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life. Last time we started our murdering spree killing two kings. And this time, hopefully, we will kill the last of the kings and become king ourselves, as we are the heir to King Badalus. We have 200% plot power. And we will kill him. Aha! My co-conspirator Leecha has managed to get one of the maids near King Badolus. For a princely sum, she has agreed to solve our little problem for us. Fantastic. Oh, he frightened off the maid with his welling, but at least she made a clean escape and no one suspects my involvement. We shall just have to try again. Ah, another maid. Perfect. My steward, Gunval, tells me his efforts at increasing religious fervour among the people have been met with great success. A small army of zealots has converged on Kresburg, ready to serve now. I simply need to attack some suitable infidel before my new recruits wander off in disgust. Okay, so we have some potential men. Um, we're not going to do anything with them right now. Uh, we do have foreign people around us. Actually, we might be able to get Podolsk if he's foreign. Uh, he is the same religion as us. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got. We'd kind of have to go north into Rostva. And he has 1.52. A little bit more. And he has 2.72. Yeah, we don't really have someone around us. Magyars are pretty weak. But not weak enough. We'll wait till we become king. Aha, he's invited me to become steward. Not only did we fulfill our ambition, increasing our stewardship by one, we're also now in his court. Perfect. Need an ambition. Mass wealth. Seems like good ambition. Our plot power has gone up even further. We have now got the spy master in here. And we're about to get another person in. And he just died. Okay. Aha, you were smothered by a pillow. They revealed my name, but I don't care. I'm now the king of Lithuania. Perfect. I can create some duchy titles now. Also nominate a successor. I will nominate my son as successor. Two titles can be created. Uh, I don't really want to create the titles right now. How many men do we have? 2,000. Perfect. We control every title in the realm. Perfect. Do we have any vassals? Yes. Oh, why does he hate us? Desires the High Chiefdom of Prothenia. Too many Hell Dutch. I have too many Hell Duchies. Okay. I have the High Chiefdom of Lithuania. Which I control every bit of. I think I'll keep that one. Is Vilnius the, be the best capital? I think with two tech it probably is. Um, this one over here is maybe the better capital. This is in the High Chiefdom of Karenia, which I control all of. Is that only two counties? Um, yeah. Okay. We could possibly keep that. Lithuania is three counties. Hmm. Except this has sub a subholding. And these don't. Okay. Which one gives us the most money? Kreuzberg. Latgale. Um, that might be... Yeah, that's because we have our steward working there. I think if we move our capital over here. And we keep Karenia. We can give this guy. The High Chieftain of Pruthania. So we'll grant him the High Chieftain of Prithenia, which means that he should now have that bit of land. He also still hates us because of many other reasons. We're a known murderer. Well, he's not wrong. Um, what what do you want? I think we're allowed to hold two duchies. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Short reign penalty is pretty high. Hmm. 
I didn't decline his invitation, I clicked yes and the game said no. Okay, we no longer need to be intrigue focused. I think that much is obvious. Um, rulership? What does that give us? Just gives us extra stewardship? Hmm. You know what, we'll take... Oh, we can't change our focus. Okay. That's fine then. We're probably going to get a lot of factions coming up here. We want to lower tribal authority. Well, that's not too bad. We could lower it if we want to. Hmm. Let's find someone to attack. We have 2,000 men. We need to attack a different faith. So... Um, we could attack the Magyars. They're Tengri. They only have 1,000 men. Seems like a good person to attack. Are there any other Tengris around? Uh, apart from this bit of land. But it's a little bit away. Oh, the Magyars also extend out there. I don't really want to attack someone larger. You Slavic? Yep. Yeah. You have 600 men. I think you're the perfect person to attack. So, subjugation of Ruthenia gives us a couple of things. Uh, there's something about subjugation. Pagans are allowed to subjugate other pagan rulers once in their lifetime. Hmm. We might not want to subjugate them then. We attack this guy. We have slightly more men at max than he does, but we don't have them right now. Saxonate. I don't want to attack Saxonate because I know there's an event where uh, Charlemagne can just attack all of Saxony, which I assume would not go well for us. Poland. Hmm. Seems like a reasonable person to attack. We get enough land from this subjugation. Subjugation of Poland. So we would get all of this land. Sounds good to me. We will call in our allies. And we will raise the men. We're all going to meet up in Zilmia. For Zelvigir? Oh, he didn't join our war. That's unfortunate. He is called who into the war? Chief Roloslav. So he has 700 men. We just need to be careful about where we attack. So we have our fleeting one flank, and he's good at that. We are leading another. Um, I'm not that much of a fan of it, but we might be the best person for the job. And we have our son leading the other flank. Hmm. Yeah, we. I think we are the best people for the job. I don't really like me and my heir both in the same thing, but... Who's this? Why are they... It's us. Okay, so not all 4,000 men are against us. Okay. We can jump in here and get rid of this uh, Greater Poland army. Very easy fight. We took only 63 casualties. And we'll just chase into Lepel. And he should be stack... Not quite stack wiped. We'll head back again. The constant surges of adrenaline it increases heart rate makes me weary. It's not as fun being angry as it used to be. I should take life easier. I lose wrath. That's not good. Is wrath, um, was that our only good thing for doing this? Well, we don't have a lot of martial anymore. We probably shouldn't be leading a flank. Let's instead put Pejoras in charge. He's patient, which is good. We'll attack around here. Is that the, really the quickest way? You can't just cross over that way? Fine. I suppose it's still the same number of provinces. We'll ta we're going to pull up to get a bit more vision. I woke up this morning and realized I've lost my feelings for my lover, Betten. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell her. Aha. We can attack in here. We got another quick win. Five hundred men. We will cross the river to chase them, and we've almost beaten them up. 
The problem is this river gives them a small advantage. We have captured Conrad. Okay. And Chief Milsko. Hmm. We're going to keep these people in our prison. We're not going to go ransom them off. The reasoning behind that... Ooh. That all became Pomerania at once. Interesting. Does that mean that they, um... Hmm. Oh, they just changed their, um, main title. Okay. But anyway, we're not going to ransom them off because we want the uh, war score that they're going to give us. See, because we hold the chief prisoner, we get 50 war score. We take his capital, then I suspect we're going to have enough to win the war. Um, yeah, you probably would be a better marshal, but unfortunately everybody dislikes you. Oh, my Ventspawn troops disappear. I thought this was a holy war. We're attacking another fae. We don't have holy war Cassis Belli, so... I don't know what you want. they want from me. The best I could do... I could do was attack a foreign power. So we won the siege. Is that the whole thing? Yep. We're going to cross across this river because we will easily beat up this army with our huge numbers advantage. Chase them into Calais. And we won that fight. Do you want to uh, surrender? Just a flesh wound. Okay. Um, where are you? specifically now. Oh, he's over here. Hmm. Guess we just don't get him. Hmm. I was seeing whether maybe he was under there. Like, whether there was a sub holding he was in. But no. We are being attacked by them, though. Or they are our enemy, would be more precise. After we finish this siege, we're going to go into uh, this place and attack him. Savna, our granddaughter, is born. Good. Took another place. We're going to wait till the 3rd of August, and then we're going to move on to Poznan. The reason we do this is so that they can't change their uh, or movement order. Oh! I said the 4th of August, right? Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Doing a mission to try and fabricate a claim on, to a Titan Lepo, my Chancellor has been murdered! How terrible! How awful! Uh, we shall appoint a new Chancellor. How about the Chief of Lepo? Hmm. I'm going to improve relations with yourself. Okay, we won that fight. I think if we wipe out his army, then we're going to win the war. Aha, we captured another person. Lord Cecilia? 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 99. Lucica? Oh, I need to stop trying to pronounce these places. 100% war score. We shall enforce our demands. We now control all of this. Perfect. We're going to move back into our land. And we go to the Spandit. So, we should have some new vassals. Let's have a look who we've got. So, High Chief of Greater Poland. Oh, so the whole of Greater Poland is one. I would prefer if that wasn't the case. Is there a way that I can just, uh, like, revoke? Since he is a filthy Slavic, our vassals will not object. Perfect. How many men does he have? 68. So we can do this. We'll go siege the couple of places we already sieged. But what, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go and sit on his capital. And then we're going to revoke his duchy. So, he should have a little bit more men. 93. But now we're going to revoke the High Chiefdom of Greater Poland. He's going to say no and time for war. There you go. He said no. So, we will call in our allies if they will accept. I think they will accept because we're defending now. Yes. Perfect. We're now sieging this place, which I thought would go quicker because we've already taken it. I guess they that's not 
true anymore. Hmm. Or maybe I misunderstand. Ah. I was wondering why the siege was going so slowly. I didn't have uh, time moving. Okay. Almost each down the problem. Righteous imprisonment of him. Why? Um fabricated late No. Stop your plot. He'd just say no. Um, okay. Um well we we'll give him an honorary title, we'll give him cupbearer. And we will send him a gift. There you go. That should maybe stop his plot. Or at least give us a way to make him stop his plot. No. Okay. Fine. He'll stop it after we uh, take over this land anyway. Oh yeah, we still have people in our prison. Uh, we'll keep them in there till after this war. Then I'll decide what to do with them. Okay. Siege down this bit. Is that our allies? Uh, where are our allies? Hmm. I guess they just didn't decide to send any men over. It's gonna make us siege a lot, I think. One child lacks a guardian, our daughter. We will educate her with... Hmm. We'll let the High Chief... Um, Pajoris do it. Although she might become Prussian, it doesn't really matter because she's a daughter. And because he's our vassal, that will make him like us. Well, because she's important, that'll make him like us more. Yeah, he's now at 77. I believe that means he's actually sending us proper taxes now. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, we're only losing a small amount of money each month. Good. I do like being uh, one of these pagan faiths because they don't actually, I believe they don't hate you for actually uh, having men raised all the time. White peace? Um, no. Um, wait. No. Why would we white peace? We're, we're going to take all of your land. I don't think he understands. All of this is ours. Uh, our son, we are going to educate him, I think. So, yeah, we're the only person who's got quite the same cultures as us, so we will educate him. Almost. Yes, we want a siege. Oh, we'll wait for this. Get there on the 5th of February, so 4th, start moving. He won't change. We now kill all the revolt warriors. Perfect, we captured a chief. We will now follow this, and we will kill him. We could raise a tribal army, we have enough prestige. And we are at war. Uh, that's 2,500 men, we don't need them. But it's good to know we have enough prestige to get them. I gave a small shriek when Kulins touched my arm, which didn't really help when I tried to defend myself from his accusations about my cowardice. I will try to prove myself, which I lower all of that and gain martial. What's the other one must be really bad. Some random person doesn't like me? I don't care. I'm not lowering all those stats. You probably hate me more because of the lowered stats. Possibly. Good, wiped out the army, caught another chief. If we have all the chiefs of this of these lands under our control, when we take control of the land, we could revoke all their titles, give away, say, the, uh, the Duchy of Lithuania, and just have this as our main title. Which would work pretty well. Does this change colour again? Oh no, I think Francia took some of it. And that was it. Because I think Francium must have taken um, uh, Saxony. In fact, I can check that. Um, yeah, she doesn't have the kingdom of Saxony anymore. So We are losing men. We will need to release and re-raise at some point. 
granddaughter needs an educator, we will educate her with uh, High Chief Bajorus, because he is the most important person in the realm. He still has a plot against me. I think I can ask him to end it. He's not going to end it. Okay. Uh, adopt feudalism. What would we need? A stone hill fort. Uh, absolute tribal authority is not an unreformed faith. Oh, so we need to reform the faith. Okay. We're not going to do that in this character's lifetime. Okay. Next place. Oh, he has a subholding. Fantastic. We will take that. Um, I think we're going to finish this war off next time. After we've got control of this land, we'll try and consolidate our power a little bit. And then we should have a lot of men to go and attack wherever we want, really. See you then. Goodbye.